deal with that, you deal with it the way your ancestors dealt with it. See, the, the whole, and I don't have a lot of time, but you so know, there's so much dimensions so of this thing here. Listen, what he just told you makes a whole lot of sense in the sense that the African philosophy Come on. is such that you are supposed to respect the elder. Why do you respect the elder? Because, you know, it's a bigger guy? No, not necessarily. It's more than that. You respect the elder because your wisdom is experience. As, especially as a, as a black, as a melanin person, you already blessed with a high cranial capacity. That's already given. That's already a given blessing you come into this world with. But the cranial capacity by itself does not do it, does not, get, does, it not, does not turn into automatic wisdom. Wisdom comes from experience. Experience. And so the one that came into the world one second, that's all it takes, one second before you had a snapshot of the world called experience before you. You will never, ever get that experience except through the eyes of that elder. So if you go kicking the elder, shoot them down, and disrespect them because master asks you to do so, master takes respect out of the black elder because he doesn't have money to buy you. That's right. So therefore disrespect him or her, right? Right. You're dead wrong. First of all, the stuff you're buying, you don't need most of it in the first place. You don't need the Nike shoes. <laughs> so you don't go disrespecting your elder for that. Because the wisdom is far superior to the Nike shoes. And even when the elder is such a, at a disadvantage, he's still the elder. She's still the elder. Without having a top man, most of us won't be doing much. That's an elder. That's an elder wisdom. The man busy, that turner. Mm -hmm. Maurice Bishop. Maurice Bishop reminds me of my father. Mm.